Karin Helmstedt. Greetings once again from the German capital and a warm welcome to the show. And it's one that's characterized by some strong personalities this time. Here's a quick preview. Well, Colin Davidson of Northern Ireland is best known for his oversized portrait painting. And with a couple of celebrities already to his credit, he had gained a certain degree of international acclaim. Well then, less than two months ago, he got a call that would change his life. The US weekly Time magazine commissioned him to do a portrait of the German Chancellor. And he didn't even know the purpose until he discovered it gracing the cover of their Person of the Year issue. And just so you know, the exhibition Silent Testimony is on in Belfast until January the 17th, after which it's slated to go to Paris. Well, speaking of testimony, a brand new film about bringing Nazi war criminals to justice is up for an Academy Award. And here's more on that at the top of today's Express. They called her the little sparrow, la mon piaf. And on December 19th, Edith Piaf, hailed as France's greatest chanteuse, would have been 100 years old. Well, her greatest hits, such as Je ne regrette rien or the beguilingly romantic La Vie en Rose, are now resounding once again for the occasion in a new stage show, now running in the southern French city of Nice. Piaf, the show, revisits her short and turbulent life, her rise from poverty, her artistic brilliance, her struggles with addiction, and, of course, her many lovers and the emotion it evokes from audiences all over the globe is proof that a great artist lives on with her legacy. A good opportunity to have another listen to some of her wonderful chansons. Well, 53 years after her death, a perpetual blanket of flowers on Edith Piaf's grave at the Père Lachaise Cemetery, that's in Paris, recalls the fleeting nature of her genius. And it's that ephemeral, transient nature of flowers themselves that fascinates Daniel Ost. The Belgian is arguably Europe's most sought-after florist, and now a reverent new volume that you can see here on the table. That's why it's on the table, it weighs half a ton, gathers his artistry for posterity. Well, then you'll be very happy to know that we have a copy of this incredible book to give away. So if you would like to have it, just send us an email with the name of your favorite flower. Now, if I were to have to answer that question, I'd probably have at least four in the list, but at the top would be an orchid. So see if you can narrow it down. Be sure to include the keywords favorite flower, and then we wish you, of course, lots of luck in the draw. Well, turning our attention now to that growing world of gaming. Philipp Stollenmeier is actually a student of communication design. And for a term project, he wanted to develop a funky mobile app game. Well, for lack of a suitable programmer, he learned the tricks of the trade himself. And in the meantime, he's got nine games to his credit, all suitable even for the technically impaired. And last but not least, it's time for our quiz, which is one of your last chances in the year 2015 to win one of our DW iPod shuffles. Well, all you had to do to win was, of course, identify our famous face from back on November the 13th. And the key words at that time were King of... Well, our winner this time is Lynette Tulloch, who wrote in from Nelson down in New Zealand. So congratulations to her. And for anyone else who wants to try, try, try their luck again, this week's quiz is coming right up. And this time, we're looking for a very special guest from the past week here on Euromax. So think hard on that one and may the force be with you. Well, needless to say, if you're watching the program all week, that was a really easy one. So best of luck to all of you taking part in our quiz. And don't forget to include your postal addresses. And of course, don't forget to go to our website or to friend us on Facebook to keep up to date with all the latest on the program. But that's all for this time. We will be back with our highlights edition at the weekend. So I hope to see you then. And until then, all the best from us here in Berlin. Tschüss und auf Wiedersehen.